real life fuel economy miles per gallon on my third gen Toyota Tacoma after installing 35 inch load E tires. In this case, the Falcon Wall Peaks AT3Ws. If you haven't seen my video on fuel economy with 33 inch low to E tires, feel free to watch that video. For this video, I gathered data by emptying 10 tanks of gas, doing 70% highway driving, and the results are in. Because my truck is not calibrated for 35 inch tire circumference, I will have to correct the math. I'll show you how. The miles per gallon average on your dash is not correct unless you recalibrated your speedometer for 35 inch tires. My tires here are actually under 35 inches. Data was collected by starting with a fuel tank of gas, then recording the distance traveled, and then recording how many gallons were pumped back to a full tank. This isn't the most accurate method, but it's definitely a great ballpark. First, let's start by saying that rotational mass on the tires is the main thing that's going to affect your fuel economy. So lighter tires and wheels um, will improve your fuel economy. That being said, I have a lot of things that make my truck less aerodynamic. This includes a roof rack, some LP7s. I also have a big snug top high rise, the extra thick version, uh, truck camper, steel sliders, two rifle cases, over 100 pounds of recovery gear, heavier leaf packs, my camping gears, but at this point I do not have my steel front and rear bumpers. After 10 tanks, I found that I was getting 13.3 miles per gallon per odometer. Then I calculated the difference in circumference, and my math tells me that with my 35 or slightly under inch tires, that I can add 1.5 miles per gallon onto that number, bringing my 13.3 miles a gallon up to 14.8 miles per gallon. Knowing this info, is 33 inch tires the sweet spot for the Tacoma? Should I try 37s? Should I run lighter tires? Let me know in the comments below. But at a 12% increase in circumference, that's going to give a 35 inch tire about 1.5 miles per gallon addition to what they're reading on the odometer. As great as load E rubber is for off-roading, especially on the rocks, if you're not going to be on rocks and you live where you're going to do a lot of desert runs, maybe you can think about running lighter tires. With larger tires, I did notice a decrease in handling, but definitely a much smoother ride off-road after airing down. Also keep in mind that this 12% difference also translate into speed. So if your speedometer is reading 60 miles per hour, you're actually probably going more closer to 65, 66. I will update you guys with the fuel economy um, with metal bumpers and the re-gear in the near future. As always, adventure wisely, my friends. See you out on the trails. Don't forget to put my cap back on.